Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have this uh, Nokia X and in this video uh, we'll be doing a UI walkthrough. Though the Nokia X uh, runs under the hood Android but uh, Nokia is using a custom skin. So let me give you a UI walkthrough and the moment you unlock this device uh, you get to this screen and this shows you uh, what is happening recently like uh, for example I got some email and I have some three updates and missed calls etc. Uh, you can also uh, wake up the phone by double tapping on the screen like this uh, you can enable this in the settings and you just slide here to unlock the device and this is the interface and the ui looks actually very different it looks like what do you say windows phone ui and yes these are kind of tiles but again um, i'll show you it's actually pretty easy to use i got used to it within an hour or so uh, one striking thing is that uh, on many android phones we have physical buttons for home back etc but here we just have a single button uh, that is a back button but if you just hold it for a while it also acts like a home button so uh, let me just show you one more thing let, let's just launch one app for example let's launch this twitter if you click on an app it launches like this and uh, you can browse around but if you want to go to the home uh, screen you just depress this home button for a while and it goes back uh, we have this uh, feature called fast lane you can just swipe like this and this will show you all the activity that is going on on your phone as you can see uh, whatever i did on my phone is there and if you re even restart this is there so this gives you a glance what you were doing uh, for example if you get a missed call etc email what app you have installed everything is here and from here also you can jump to the apps if you just click here you can jump to the app but it's not true multitasking uh, let us just go back again and here you can remove the entries for example let's say uh, if you I want to remove this Firefox entry from here and just hold here for a while for example yeah it launched that application but if you hold on for a while you get this X and it, you can actually remove the entries from here if you want uh, so this is one way you can just look up uh, what is going on in your phone and quickly go to that area and uh, again as you notice we don't have any uh, what do you say app tray all the apps that you install will come and reside over here so you just need to scroll down one thing is that uh, this phone does enable you to install widgets for example as you can see this is the twitter widget that i installed and this is gallery app is also a widget uh, to do the same what you need to do is just hold on to any of the icons for example uh, like this just uh, long press and here you get these buttons from here you can create a folder or if you click on this one these are all the widgets that are available on your phone and for example let me just go back by mistake i hit something else and here you just select the widget like this and it should come over here again as you can see uh, now we have a widget here you just tap on this go back and that widget is there so you can install kind of widgets also on the home screen uh, but i would say just restrict it don't go bonkers uh, because the phone hardware is not very powerful and it has just limited amount of ram so that's how you install widgets uh, you can also easily uninstall the apps you can always go to the settings like here and uh, go to the what do you say uh, apps and from here you can uninstall uh, you can hit this manage apps and it'll list all the apps that are available and you can uninstall apps from here but uh, a easier way i would say is let's say uh, we want to uninstall this uh, monopoly just hold on to that and just press this x button and now you can directly uninstall the app directly from the home screen and now that app is uninstalled let's do it again uh, once more for uh, uh, this app that is this uh, let's say tetris i want to uninstall that so i just hold it press x and it's uninstalling so this way you can install and uninstall apps uh, it's pretty easy let's just go back so this is the uh, interface and to go back uh, this is what do you say your uh, fast lane so let us just open up uh, one of the browser and again regarding apps we do have this uh, uh, app store by nokia and you can directly install apps from here uh, but i found that uh, the app selection is a little bit limited here so i installed some third party app stores for example this one mobile market and this app toy and here actually we have a lot of apps available and it's actually uh, the only con is it's a little bit slow for example let's try temple run uh, for example i could download what do you say subway surfer etc uh, 
via this app store and as you can see it has all the latest apps so you can easily install a lot of apps uh, via this uh, one con is that I, uh, I tried to install the some of the google native apps like youtube but that failed so apart from google uh, specific apps i was able to install uh, quite a few apps for example subway surfer tune and radio even the speed test and the firefox browser one thing i did notice is that for example let me invoke the firefox browser the firefox browser is a lot faster compared to the stock browser uh, that is available on this Nokia phone uh, and as you can see this is the Redef uh, website and this is the standard keyboard that we get. Uh, regarding the keyboard uh, we do also have swipe style uh, functionality built in for example you do have swipe functionality uh, on the keyboard. Let's just go back to Redef.com and as you can see we are able to browse this just hold this uh, home button for a while to go back to the home screen and uh, regarding multitasking yes it's not the fastest i would say but switching between the apps is okay again we can't complain too much it's an entry level budget oriented phone so as you can see uh, that way you can do but uh, now let's say uh, as it's an android phone uh, quite a few of you have asked me about multitasking yes this is fast lane this shows you all the apps and actually multitasking works on this Nokia X. Uh, for example, I was using the TuneIn radio uh, that was working in the background and I was browsing the web. But to give you a visual interpretation, you need to install a third party app. And I used this app a long time ago on one of my Samsung phones and it's known as multitasking shortcut and you can use this app. Like this, it shows you the visual indication of all the apps that are running. And from here, you can directly actually switch to that particular app again there's a little bit of lag because the ram is a little bit limited and the best part is just click that and you can also swipe away to remove those apps another uh, thing that uh, i would say is that if you are going to buy this phone and use it uh, it's a good idea to install this advanced task manager or a task killer like that because this phone does have just limited amount of ram so uh, if the phones you feel the phone is getting slowed it's a good idea to use apps like this and clean up the memory and as you can see it's now uh, just uh, reloading the launcher and now memory is clear obviously if you don't like this uh, ui you can also use uh, what do you say custom launchers i haven't uh, tried it yet but if you guys want i can give that a try so this is a quick overview about this nokia x uh, custom ui on the nokia x dual sim smartphone uh, again do let me know in the comment section what are the kind of videos that you would like uh, to see i'll also make a gaming video uh, with this nokia x pretty soon so that's it for now for this quick video on this nokia x i hope that you found this uh, video helpful thank you this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video